So everyone, this is the Magic Mouse and this is the iPad. The question is, does the Magic Mouse work with the iPad? Well, it does, but it doesn't work the exact same way as it does on a MacBook. Because there, the cursor and the whole stuff is actually different. Because for example, if you have the Magic Keyboard, you also have the trackpad in here and you're familiar with it. But the way it works is that you simply like select over some apps and you just use it in iPad OS. So it's completely different than Mac OS. Like you hover over some icon, it just gets selected completely. So it, like I say, it's a different thing. And, and then the Magic Mouse is going to behave the absolute same way. It's also important to know that not every single iPad model is actually going to support it. Because, for example, if you have the iPad mini, you need to have at least the mini 4. If you have the iPad Air, it should be at least iPad Air 2nd generation and every newer one for sure. And when it comes to iPad Pro, pretty much all of them are supported. But like I said, not every single iPad model is going to be able to connect to your uh, magic mouse. Okay, but let me show it to you finally how it actually works and how you can connect it. So as you can see, we are here on uh, the home screen on our iPad, the Apple Pencil is connected. I have multiple battery widgets, which are also able to track the magic mouse once it is connected. At first, you need to make sure that the battery is charged on the magic mouse and also that it is turned on. So there is the green background behind this switch in here. So put it like this, it is like ready but I need to go to the settings and open up the Bluetooth. Right now you can see that here are all of the devices which are either connected or recognized. These are my devices. And if I'm gonna wait long enough or perhaps like reset this, like turn it off and turn it back on, then the uh, magic mouse should appear right here. So you can see magic mouse and some random other Bluetooth device. So as you can see, magic mouse is now connected and what appeared here in the middle of the screen is the actual cursor. Like I said, it looks different differently compared to the MacBook and Mac OS because here is the iPad OS. Like you can of course use all of the gestures to like scroll and do stuff like you can do different things but it's again just the iPad OS interface. And like I said, every icon you hover over just like gets selected so you don't have that big of a precision. So it's definitely, it, I mean, it could be better, but yeah, this is the iPad OS, it's iPad. Like I said, you also can see and track the battery status of this Magic Mouse, but here you can see we have the percentage, like 17% as well as here, but on this widget we only have the graph, but it's not so precise. Plus, there are some other things you can uh, check out or some settings you can modify. So if you go to the settings, then click on general and you can see trackpad and mouse, it's right here. So if you click on it, then you have some options like uh, you can choose the scrolling speed. I mean, it's just weird because I'm not really used to this kind of stuff. So I like to keep it at like 60% perhaps, it's probably the best for me. Then you have the secondary click, which means that you can choose if you can enable it on the, the right side of the mouse or on the left side. And you also uh, can disable it all together, but usually you want to have it on uh, the right side. And a natural scrolling, if you disable this, when now I swipe up, it goes up. And if I swipe down, it goes down. So it's kind of weird. You're not really used to it. Now it's like uh, the opposite direction. When I swipe up, it goes down. And I swipe down, it goes up. So yeah. But if you want to customize this pointer or this cursor even more, there is the possibility to do so. If you go to the settings and navigate to the accessibility, it's right here. And scroll down to find the pointer control, it's right here. And if you tap on it, you can choose different things. For example, increase contrast. You can see that the circle is a bit darker, so you can see it better. Then you automatically can hide pointer. Like if I just leave uh, the uh, magic mouse like this, I don't touch it for a while. Then after some time of inactivity, not sure how long, but it should disappear. So there you go. It just like disappears. It's not available anymore. So you can choose uh, the color, which is like only an outline, but you can choose it to be red and thick and also pointer size i can make it bigger so right now you can see exactly where it is so you have the animations right now it just doesn't like select it around the accessibility you can see the title here if it's this is enabled then it takes the shape of the 
of the button as you can see like this but when you turn it off it doesn't do it and you also have the scrolling speed but this here is to do it in order for you for everyone and for example i presented this video i want to make sure that you see exactly what i click on so i'm gonna make this really big for you to know where i am and what i'm doing so this is also possible to do for your personal using you probably don't want to keep it that big you probably don't even want to have it um, with any color or any Thing. But yes, this is how it works. Hope this video helped you out. Yes, the answer is you can use Magic Mouse on your iPad and this is how you can use it. Thanks all for watching. Subscribe for more Magic Mouse videos like this one and definitely take a look at the one you can see right here on the screen.